Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. Let's see who this is from. Alright, we got cross stitch. And let me take a look. Alright, this is from DIY Choose. And I guess we'll just start with the top one. And this one's called Peony Bloom. It's just got a little bit of back stitch, but you could certainly put more back stitching into this. It is a 14 count. It's 37 by 37. And it is a printed canvas. It's in a Joy Sunday bag. So I'm assuming it's Joy Sunday. Whether it says so or not, it has their logo and everything else on it comes in the great bag that does have all the instructions printed right on the bag these are nice heavy duty bags if you've never had a joy sunday kit so you can keep your project in it and not have to have a separate bag i just have separate bags for you know the ones that come in the crazy uh oh in the cellophane -y type like this yeah but isn't that beautiful look at all those beautiful beautiful colors we got two little bees looks like we got oh I thought those were ladybugs but they're not they're some kind of buds they remind me of rose hips does that make sense let me pull that up just real close see what I mean yeah so let's take a look now, I've got a little folded here. I'm trying to find colors. Here we go. This has full stitch. Sorry, my bad. Full stitch, half stitch, French knot, and back stitch. And it has 44 colors. Yeah. Nicely printed booklet. The booklet will not match the canvas as far as the symbols go. And it is one that is separated into six different parts. It says it's 164 by 164. That's your squares per square. It is a partial. So, yep, like that part too. Let's see what we got in here. Let me shake everybody down just a little bit. Ow. Now, it does have one of the product numbers that's on the front of the uh, the picture and it has two needles I'm looking to see if they're small and they're the small kind so that works really well on 14 count and this is one of the the cards that says where the red numbers are those are how many strands you have the bottom the next number is the DMC number and the last number is your um, number for your thread card so let's take a look very nice well done this says two of two look at those pinks and that orange and all the greens got kind of a medium brown here and 44 is a light not a light, a medium olive green. Whoop, sticking to my hand. So, no 310 black. You have some beautiful reds, some brighter yellows, like a pale yellow and a yellow orange, if you will. You have some coral, some more regular orange, like tangerine orange. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Love it. Let me just roll that up so nobody gets lost. And just set it up here. Let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas is surged all the way around. I'm trying to figure out which way is which. So it's kind of a square. Let's see how big it is. Very nicely printed. Just beautiful. This has 
37 colors. It is 14 and a half inches that way. I mean, did I say 30, 37 colors? 37 centimeters by 37 centimeters and tad over 14 and a half. Actual picture size is 11 and three quarters or 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters and 11 and three quarters so it'd fit in a 12 by 12 frame it would be just stunning just absolutely stunning and did you notice since i decided to do the half cross stitch i haven't had a full coverage 14 count since i'm telling you <coughs> excuse me now all your symbols are down along the bottom it's a little difficult to read the uh the DMC number, but it goes right along there. You can pretty much read it. And the symbols are really big. They're about mm, almost a quarter of an inch wide. Maybe a shy underneath, you know, size. But this is very, hang on, I'm trying to fold it in half and it's not cooperating. Very nicely printed, very easy to see all the symbols. I'll hold it there. It is going to be a little confetti because you've got all these different shades and things going. So, yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. Just beautiful. But, you know, I got a soft place for peonies. Yep, love them. Love them, love them, love them. Just gorgeous. So, we'll have to get to that someday, soon. Alright, let me get this out of its bag because it's quite shiny and got the light shining and everything. Oh, let me tell you how much that one was. Uh, it was $8.49. This one was $11.19. Let's see if I can pull it out. And flip it over. Look at the my grandmother granddaughter calls them Kika. Cats. She did when she was little. She didn't know what they were. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the colors. I just love it. It's a 40 by 56. It's 148 by 217. It is an 11 count because it says 11 CT right there. Nice paper pattern. Paper pattern will match your canvas in this. So it's on a great, sorry, didn't mean to juggle you there. On a great big piece of paper, it does have those same instructions that came on Joy Sunday. Very nice, very well printed, very easy to see. Nice big pattern. You can see all, everything. It's about a, mm, about a 14 count look to it. Um, it is an 11 count though, and it's 44 colors, it does have the colors running down the side, and it has 310 black, no 823, which is that dark, dark blue, no 939, uh, no, it has 33, excuse me, 3770 that they're using for a white, and this one also has 3865, but no 3771. Or 3371. I can't, I get that confused. That dark, dark brown. There's no dark brown in it. But there is some black. So, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. it I don't know. It reminds me of that stuff from the 60s. Just absolutely stunning little picture got birds you got butterflies you got tulips you got little flower flowers and little tulips going along the bottom it's just got so many elements to it that i just i just love and i love the sun coming down it's just gorgeous Ugh. i can hurt let's let's take a look at those gorgeous colors i know i'm getting ahead of myself up oh, we do have a toolkit the bigger ones are starting to have more toolkits in them. 
um, five needles, poof ball, thimble, and a needle threader. And it is the ox. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Don't know how we got so far away there. Let's take a look at the colors. Trying inside out, upside down here. Oh, we're never going to make that. Let's go this way. I see purples. Purple, purple, purples. And of course, you have a hank of 310 black. I'm sure of it. I bet my life on it. Yep, 310 black. There's 40 strands of it. Let's take a look at everything else here. Get it all unwound and give it a little shake. Let's we'll start with a single one. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Jelly bean purple. Look at the blues, the turquoise, and then you have a medium turquoise and a little bit of mauve. Gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous. I'm trying. Then you have more blues. You have a bright, vivid orange. Got vivid greens. Got like a dark, reddish coral. I don't know what color that is. It's kind of a pinkish brown. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Maybe a dark rose. Very pretty. Very, very 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 pretty just beautiful stunning colors you know I love my colors that the picture reminds me also of that uh, Mexican pottery I know y'all know what that word is but heck if I can pronounce it you know what I'm talking about the kind you can well you could probably get it at some place more high end than in what do you call it uh, Pure One Imports, you know, because it is expensive. God, I can't. I want to say Trevina. Tre, yeah, tre, Trevina. Or, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, look it up. Mexican Pottery Famous. Yeah. Beautiful. Sorry, I needed a drink. All right. Let's put our toolkit up there. Let's take a look at the canvas very nicely printed on this side i'm just gonna flip oh yeah very nice very nice but it's gonna be confetti here there you do have some bigger spots and everything but yeah put you up a little bit just so you could see what's going on it is surged all the way around product number Product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Oh, yeah. You know, the, if I could finish this and the dragons, we'd put all these colorful, colorful ones all together. No, I haven't finished the other one. Believe me. Number six. So, wherever you see blue is 310 black. So, it's just here, there, and everywhere. I'm going to turn it sideways. Very nicely printed. Very easy to read symbols. I just love these 11 counts. I just I can't even. Alright, it is 57 centimeters or 22 and a half by 40 centimeters or 16 inches. Actual size is 13 and a half. Or 34 centimeters by, well, let's call it 20 because it's like two notches from being 20 inches. And 50 or 55, 50 and a half. If I could just talk, I'm telling you, it's a Monday. Oh, goodness. So get all the fuzzies out of the way. But yeah, I just love this. And I like that it's not very wide. So to be easy to work on on your lap, you do have those stripes of color running this way on the canvas. And then there's that sun 
up in here. It comes down to about here. I mean, that cat's head must be eight inches across. There's a cat there, and then there's a cat right there. But I just, I just thought this was beautiful. I just, I had to have it. Had to have it, and it looks fairly simple. You know, I mean, I would start with what color, when you look at that canvas, what color do you see the most of? Okay, besides 310 black. So maybe yellow, maybe orange. I would do, you know, a couple strands of the orange and put it all in. And then wheedle my way down until I got to where the confetti was. And then I would just start picking them off one by one. You know. But that that's what I would do. But they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Now, DIY Chews um, has free shipping on orders over $39. If they have any specials, I will put them in the description box below. They have diamond painting, cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, and embroidery. They have a separate Joy Sunday section. They also have paint by number. They have tools and crafts for all of those. And let's see. They even have mystery diamond painting. So if you're into that, I not so much. I, just show me what it looks like. Yeah, before I spend all my time, do I, I'm not much into mystery. No. I want to see what it looks like. Is it close enough? Is it far enough away? Or is how much detail? You know. i got to determine all these factors before I ever pull the trigger on a diamond painting. So, Because I've been messed up several times. And that's back in the day when I was doing nothing but buying diamond paintings. So, learn my lesson. You know, take a look at the pattern. Judge for yourself. See how big it is. Just, just little tips. So, like I said, any specials will go down in the description box below. Thank you, DIY Choose, for sending me these beautiful kits. I want to start them both. <laughs> yep, like right now. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yep, got to have that color. You know, just got to have all that bright cheery color in your life because can't stand gray and gray and black all the time it, no gotta have the cheerful colors so thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye